One of the things that is super critical when you uh, decide upon a product or service that you want to sell is to figure out what the value proposition is to customers. And it, you know, a lot of people don't understand what that is. A uh, value proposition is very simple once you understand it. If somebody wants something from you bad enough, they are going to buy something from you if you can provide that. So a, a really good value proposition is if you have a pill that can save, save someone's life and they are about ready to die, the, there's a huge value proposition in your product. They're gonna pay whatever they can to get that pill. But there are smaller value propositions out there as well. If you understand what a value proposition is, and I'm gonna give you some examples, you can use that to your benefit when you, when you plan uh, your product or service launch. So a lot of times I'll recommend to people that they become an author, that they write a book. And I get a bunch of BS excuses as to why they can't do it. They'll say, well, you know, they don't have enough time, blah, 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 blah. But one of the things that they say is that, well, they're not an expert. Somebody else knows more than them. And to them, I say, yeah, so what? We are all relative experts to other people. As long as we know something more than somebody else does, we are a relative expert to them. And if they want to know something about a subject that we know more about, we are we are a greater expert. We have a greater level of expertise than them. And if we write a book or we have a seminar that teaches them to get to where we are, if that's where they want to be on their way up, then we have a value proposition. We just created one. We said, we know something more than you. You want this, so here's that's the value. For X dollars, we are going to provide you with that information to get there. That's what the value proposition is. There's a spread. A spread creates a value proposition. When there's a difference or a spread in expertise and someone wants to, be, to become more knowledgeable, that's a, that's a spread in expertise. That is the value proposition. That's the basis for it. If, um, like I said, if you, if you want to live and you're about ready to die and somebody has a pill that's gonna save your life, there's a huge value proposition right there. So um, that's what a value proposition is. You gotta figure out what, what people are looking to do. Examples of value propositions are this. Everybody wants to save time because everybody feels like they don't have enough time on the job, in their personal life. So if you come out with a product, like say software, and it makes somebody's job easier, um, you are doing a couple different things. And you are probably saving them time and you are making their job less of a pain in the butt. And both of those things provide value. And if you can provide that and you can market your product based on that, you can sell it to them at the right price because they want more time and they want an easier job. Everybody wants that. If you are selling to a consumer, not a business, <clears throat> You can market products or services like whether that's books or, um, you know, like grocery delivery, things that save people time. They're not necessarily going to save money by having their groceries delivered, but it saves time. I know when I use it, it's super convenient and I love it for that. Um, so that it, you can save people time. They have more money than time. If they're going to buy your 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 services to deliver groceries, they have more money than time. They want some of their time back so they can spend time relaxing, spend more time with their friends, their family, whatever it is, and they're gonna trade some of the money that they've earned, give that to you so that they, you, you can go out and get the groceries and deliver them and they, they can save time. So that's a value proposition. You can, you, spreads exist in everything. Spreads exist in, in expertise, um, in time, um, in ease, this is like, the, do you make my job easier? Do you make my life easier? Uh, th there are value propositions all around. All you gotta do is think about what would make your life easier at home? What would make your job easier? And that's where there's a value proposition that you can make. So look at it from that perspective. How much of a value proposition do you provide people? You could have a really simple solution. Um, that you could charge a lot for. Somebody was telling me about a story about, you know, there was a company had really expensive equipment and something was going wrong with it. And so they brought in an expert. He was the only guy who knew how to do it. And he came in and he, you know, tightened a bolt and he charged them like thousands of dollars. And, and they were like, well, all you did was, you know, tighten a bolt. And he said, no, what I did is I fixed your problem and I got you back up and running. There's huge value in that. 
It wasn't the bolt that was being turned, it was the company was being turned back on. They were able to continue manufacturing their goods. So it's not what you do, it's the value you provide. And that's, that's something else that uh, I think is also important. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But value proposition, what, what, what value you provide in doing whatever it is you do, that's what you can charge people based on. So I'll always remember that. 